At the end of July 2021, Microsoft Excel released seven new functions. These functions include the map function, reduce function, scan, make array, by row, by call, isomated. These functions assist in the operation of Lambda and thus are called Lambda helper functions. In this video, let's focus on the map function and check whether the map function is really of any use for us or not. But before we start this video, I hope you have a basic understanding of the Lambda function. If you don't know what the Lambda function is and how can we use it, I have put a link in the description to the Lambda function video. You can check that out. So let's continue with the map function. Here we have these values. We have an array of values which has some text values and some numeric values. We want to check whether the values in this array are numeric or non-numeric. If they are numeric, we want to return them in a different array. Else, we want to return blank cells. So let's use the map function. The array is this. Then we will use the lambda function. Define the parameter for the lambda function. We will name it array. Then our calculation is if is number array. That means if this array is numeric, if the values in the array are numeric, we want to return array. That means we want to return the values in the array. Else we want to return blank cells. Close parenthesis. Close the lambda function, close the map function, hit enter on the keyboard. So here we have these values. Essentially what the map function here does is that it maps each value from the original array to the resultant array. That is it applies the lambda function to each value in the source array, that is this array, returns the results of the lambda function in a different array, that is this array here. So that is what the lambda function does. Now let us test whether we can achieve the same result without using the map function. So let us delete this here. Let us directly use the if function if is number value. So values are these values here, this array. Value if true. If the value is true, that is if these the values in the source array or numbers we want to return those numbers else we want to return blank cells close parenthesis hit enter on the keyboard so here it, it is here you have these numbers numeric values returned in a different array so where lies the difference what we achieved with the map function, we achieved the same result without using the map function. So where lies the difference? The difference lies with the AND or OR logical tests. So here lies the difference. Let me show you how. Let's go to this example here. We have these details of employees who are from different departments and different business units and we have their country name, annual salary. Let us check a condition here. The condition is we will check employees who are from United States and whose salary is greater than or equal to one lakh. So let us check that here. We will use the AND condition. Logical test is country column. We will press Control shift down arrow on the keyboard to select the entire arrow then Control and backspace on the keyboard to bring the cursor back to the cell where we are typing the formula hit a comma on the screen hit a comma on the keyboard country is equal to united states since united states is a text value we will put it in double quotes then comma logical second our second condition is salary is greater than or equal to 1 lakh. So we'll control shift down arrow on the keyboard to select entire salary column. Then again control and backspace on the keyboard to bring the cursor back to the point where we are typing the formula. Salary is greater than equal to, greater than or equal to 1 lakh. We will close the AND function then hit enter on the keyboard and check the result. The result is in one single cell. The reason is AND condition. 
aggregates the result in a single cell. There is a way to still check these values. That is we will, instead of giving a range here as input value, we will just give one cell E1. And here also for the salary column, we will give F1 column here as the input value. We will test just a single cell here. Hit enter on the keyboard, then we can drag this formula down. So this is the way you can check the values against a condition, but you see here how many formulas are used here. This is a single formula in one cell. In the other cell, there is another formula. In this cell, there is another formula. So there are as many formulas as there are rows in this Excel worksheet, and that sometimes makes your work quite complicated. So in this situation, the map function comes to our rescue. Let's copy this formula here from the top, form, from the formula box. Let's copy it. Let's delete this column here. And now let's use the map function. For map function, we have to enter these arguments. The first argument is first array. The first argument is an array. It's the country column, comma. Then we can give additional arrays as arguments. Our additional array, one more array is the salary column, comma. Then we will use the lambda function inside the map function. Lambda. For lambda, we have to define parameters. The first parameter will be this first column here. We will name this column as country. We can give it any other name, but for simplicity, we will name it country here. Second parameter will be this column here. And this column is named salary. We'll name it salary here, comma. Then we will use the AND function inside of this lambda function. We'll paste the AND function here, control V, but there's some work we have to do here. We have to replace this E1 here with the name country, because country, we have declared a parameter named country. And also this F1, we have to replace it with the parameter name that is salary. Then we will close the map function here, hit enter on the keyboard. As soon as we hit enter on the keyboard, this formula spills these values across the entire column. So we have typed just one formula here. We didn't have, have to drag and drop these formulas. This is just one dynamic formula which spills the result across this entire column. So you can check this row here. The country is United States. The first condition is met. The salary is not greater than 1 lakh. Both conditions should evaluate to true for the AND function to return a true value. Since one of the conditions is not met here, the function returns a false value here. For this row here, since both the conditions are met, country United States salary greater than 1 lakh it returns a true value here. What if you want to count how many employees are there from the United States who are taking a salary of one lakh or greater than one lakh? It's quite simple. What you have to do is that uh, you have to click on this cell here, open this function, enter double negative here before the AND function. Once you hit enter on the keyboard, you can see that the true and false are converted into zeros and ones. What you simply have to do is to wrap this map function within the sum function. Sum, close the sum function here, hit enter on the keyboard. So you have exactly 374 instances where employees are from, from the United States and who are taking a salary of greater than one lakh. So that was about the map function. I hope this video was helpful. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Keep supporting, subscribe the channel, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.